Last week on May 8th, 2015, and anniversary of Europe's liberation from the Nazis, the day 70 years ago World War II ended, a young brave Turk stood up against the Swiss terror and Swiss tyranny and shot four of his Swiss Nazi tormentors. May the 8th, the day the Nazis surrendered in 1945, is general being seen in Switzerland as a day of grief and sorrow, because that very day marked the end of some very good business with the Nazis. And on that very same day, when Swissy was already in a bad mood, because the rest of Europe celebrated the end of a terrible world war. A young and brave young Turk just couldn't take the organized Swiss crimes against him and his children anymore and decided to seek justice himself in a land of hardcore Nazism, where it brings no sense of justice at all for a foreign immigrant as himself. Here you can see it says all the time the mad killer in German, even in, in German they're using the word killer, you know, so to, you know, to, um, to form the people, you know, to manipulate the people, uh, of which I'll tell you later uh, again, just watch this, mad killer. And I put all the original uh, German articles in the description for you. And it says, you know, we were all afraid of him, you know. It's incredible how Swiss he always slips into the victim's role. You know, as it is so important for them, you know, to stay like innocent and neutral. They never do done anything wrong, you know. So the mad killer, in German that's uh, der ihre Ihre killer, using an English word, and I'll explain you why. So, here it says here about Ili. Um, it says the children were placed stranger. So, you know, that's the Google translation. I'm sorry, but it means, you know. They just took the way the the children away, you know. You, you don't do this, you know. This is terror. This is violence. Violence has endless many faces, and this is one of the. This is what Swissy does, you know. That's their Swiss violence. They never done anything wrong. So, and here it says. They call him Simon Ah, but that's not his name. And um, he had installed on his front. He had installed cameras everywhere. You know, I was so the man was in. I was afraid of them. Don't you see it? He was afraid. He was afraid of Swissy. Why else install a camera all over around his house? The Swiss are lying as always. You know, I know them now. They've done the very same thing with me. It's always the same. So I put the links all I put all the links and the translations and the original German text. I put it in the uh, description for you. I just had to make this video, you know, it, it's awful, you know. This is slander. It's evil slander, you know, against immigrants. Swissy and their racist terror had taken away his beloved children, had put him in a closed psychiatrical institution in the boogie house, used him as a guinea pig, criminalized him through foul, organized Swiss lies, completely destroyed his honor and sense for human dignity, everything. And this is in fact both the Horus Matrix and the Ordo Ab Chaos of respectively the Sisters of Isis and the Freemasons. The Horus Matrix will not accept too much influence by a patriarchal Muslim father 
as he was married to a Swiss wife. And the Ordo Apkaus tries to break down the original personality being rebuilt by other criteria, creating a garden gnome for the Swiss Sisters of Isis. Just like the New World Order bombs the hell out of Iraq, pulverizing all the buildings, then to be rebuilt by the New World Order, being automatically the new owners at the same time. So, here you can see, here, they talk, you know, they say he had a mental disorder, you know, that's what they always say, you know, the Swiss, they all, you know, they are so intelligent, and it's always the foreigner, and now too, you know, they call him the, the mad killer, you know, so that's what they always do, it's all, I know it, you know, they tried the same thing with me, and I've never done a thing like this, and I would never do a thing like this, you know, um, yeah, and this is the Kesp, they are very, very dangerous, you know. Just a moment before, there was a whole Swiss family, you know, that, you know, got suicided because of these bastards here, of the Kesp. So, and, um, so they just put him in a mental home, you know, and completely wrecked the man, you know, used him as a guinea pig, pumped him full with all sort of, I know now how the Swiss are lying, so I, I know I know the story, and I've I've heard so many similar stories of immigrants. You know, that Spanish guy Gabriel, he told me he's probably in there as well. You know, they always do the same thing, and um, yeah, he was accommodated, they call it. You know, here they use so you know very soft you know words, accommodated. But for the man, you know, they use very hard words like the mad killer. You know, that's a solution, you know. Call him the mad killer, you know, then there's, you know, that was it, you know. The guy was mad, so, you know, that, that's why he did it, you know. He was an immigrant and he was mad, you know. It's another witch hunt. The Swiss are very, very good with witch hunts, you know. They, that's, and they did it, you know. It was the Swiss card, God in the Middle Ages with that Swiss book, the Maleus Maleficarum, or the Witch's Hammer, uh, who started, you know, killing all the, all, all, all the good women, you know, who were killed by the witches, and not the other way around. This is evil. I've never seen so much evil as here. And don't talk about it, you know, because they'll, they'll stab you in the back, Swissy does. Therefore, it is, it's extremely rare Turks and other Muslims marry European witches. For sex, fun and disco, yes, but not for marriage and having children together, because Muslim men know what a shitstorm they'll have to face, as in this case with our brave Turkish victim of Swiss premeditated terror and crimes against humanity. So here you can see it again, you know, they, they call him the mad killer all the time in every single article they wrote you know to this is slander you know to condition the minds of all the readers you know about how bad the, the immigrants are you know which they already did you know for, for 20 years here or more so now they don't even have to write you know the dirty foreigner anymore as they did before they really did you know so they just have to write down the mad killer to condition the people you know all the time and this is bad, you know, this is, this is really bad. You know, living in Switzerland, it's like, you know, being, being, you know, like in Nazi Germany in the 30s, you know. And, you know, it was all Swiss made anyway. He says he forbade the grandparents to see their grandchildren. Well, didn't they say before that they took away his children? So how can he possibly forbid the grandparents to see their, their grandchildren? You know, it, it doesn't stick, you know, they, they contradict each other in their Swiss lies, you know. It's not possible. It's, it's all a lie, I tell you. They even contradict each other in their lies. They took the, his children away, you know. That's violence. He cared for it, skids. You know? I lived through the same things here. 
I know what a bunch of liars these Swissies are, and I heard lots of stories, you know. It's not even the use to talk with them anymore. You know, all the time they call him the killer. Even in the German in the German language, you know, it's a German speaking uh, newspaper. It says, you know, he was in a private clinic for psychiatry and psychotherapy. You know. And this is what they do with many immigrants for no apparent reason at all. Just for terror. Well, you know, he says again, the mad killer. And this is going on for a week. Every day, several times a day, they write in the newspapers the mad killer. You know, to uh, to condition the people, you know. So they'll, they'll repeat it, what the newspaper is telling them. Eh? So... They, they, they pumped him so full, you know, it says. Um, how is it possible he murdered despite the medication? You know, they pumped him so full that they're asking the question, you know, how is it possible he was still walking on his, on his legs, you know? And um, it's horrible. You know, it's, it's Auschwitz, you know, really. And here it says, you know, the depot of the drugs, it will hold two weeks, you know. Two weeks it stays in the body. And the other, other ones they gave him, you know, it stays for, it stays for years. And here they even talk, you know, about the, uh, the drug here. They say there's no more. Um, it, it, you know, it dampens the brain activity. Well, what do you know, you know? So they can put some other suggestions in his mind if he has no more brain activity of himself, you know? This is brainwashing. This is what they do, you know? First they, they dampen, you know, the excess of brain activity. So you have no more resistance of yourself. And then they can you know, give the orders and the um, and the suggestions, you know, like go and kill somebody, you know. This is what they do, you know. This is These are experiments. It's a long-lasting uh, poison they gave him. You know, it's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And they didn't, you know, they didn't prevent his actions with it. They triggered his actions of the poor Turk. You know, it says, you know, um, it says, um, a chief physician may order an injection of neuroleptics even against the will of the patients. In the clinic, well, that's no problem, they say. Well, it's absolutely no problem, yeah? You know, just, just, just waste a human being, you know, and torture him, you know? That's what Swiss is doing, you know. That, that's what they do with us, you know. I, I was near to get there. I, I videotaped the um, what that uh, psychiatrist wrote about me. They forced me, you know, 19 pages. And and the, this guy, you know, he, he copied it and he just put a name in it every single time, you know. It just doesn't fit. That's not me, you know, he wrote about, you know. Swiss used the Turk for medical experiments for their important Swiss chemical industry, which is probably the biggest, biggest in the world, with firms like Novartis now writing in their Swiss newspapers. Well, why wasn't he down? We pumped him so full. The Turk wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to walk anymore. Well... What else to expect in a country where the ethnic Swiss Dr. Mengele from Auschwitz freely walked around after the war in the 50s and 60s, and everyone knowing it in Switzerland. This is Octogon of the Alps, the base of all evil and all wickedness. Mengele probably never was in, you know, in, 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 in Brazil or Argentina or wherever he was. He was all the time in Switzerland. You know, here it says, the Swiss turned a blind eye to Mengele visits in Switzerland. The Nazi butcher. And there's, there's 
go and watch this video on the same channel. Dr. Mengele got 100% protection in Switzerland, angel of death, you know, the heredity, biology. And I put it all together in my video where the same footage is here in the video Auschwitz made in Switzerland or my other channel, uh, Gure. He was all the time in Switzerland, you know, because his son Rolf, he studied in, um, in an elite boarding school in uh, Montreux, uh, as Mengele is from a very, very rich family, one of the richest families in Europe. So this is, you know, this is Nazism for the rich, which is something else than Nazism of the poor. Nazism of the rich, they always try to mobilize Nazism of the poor, you know, the workers, you know. So, they never stopped. The Swiss never stopped. And Dr. Mengele, he was involved in sterilizing young people in Switzerland and uh, uh, thousands of gypsies after the war. At the same time, Mengele was in Switzerland, you know, in the 50s, 60s, and even 70s. And the Swiss never stopped doing it. And this is what they did with the, with the young Turk. And Swissy does their crime by delegating the authorities. Anonymously, make it legal before, just as Swissy had Adolf Hitler come in the legal way, to have that other patriarchy genocide it. So go and watch this video on my other channel. The Templar Nazis of Switzerland financed Adolf Hitler and World War II uh, in 1923. So this is Mr. Hitler in Switzerland. It's a very rare picture. Here you can see a Swiss policeman or an army man. And here's some more. It's all Swiss here. Yeah. Swiss army caps. Guy with a gun in his pocket. He was a Swiss agent, there's no doubt. The Swiss authorities are full of homosexuals, which I know from my own experience, who are very helpful to the sisters of Isis for their hatred against the patriarchy and anything that's male and naturally. Me, Sean Ross, have seen them personally as guards in the prisons in the Swiss courts, Swiss police, the child authorities called KESP. And I remember their faces and their hatred of at least four of them. I still remember their faces very, very carefully and very, very clear. I know, you know, who they were. And these homos, both lesbians and queers, just have a natural born hatred for everything that's normal, healthy and male. So this is very, very well known, you know. They even say it themselves and they act that way. And especially the SS or social services are apparently full of them. And SS stands for ISIS, written consonants only in Pharaonic being a helpful product for the Horus Matrix of the Swiss Sisters of Isis and our Lord of Darkness, Seth, or Seton, who just hates God's creation and everything normal, healthy, and male. Uh, uh, so here it says uh, in the beginning here, that all that they, they say, you know, the children were in danger. And that's, that's this, this CASP is saying it, you know. Well, you have to know that the Swiss child authorities, until 1989, they, they had children slaves called the Fadin Kinder. You know, they were, they were rounded up by the Swiss police and brought to their, to their rapists, you know, the child molesters, and they were beaten to death and starved to death. They're called Fadin Kinder. Go and look it up, you know. So do you believe this, people? You know, when they say, when these child authorities having children slaves until 1989, that they say the children were in danger, do you believe them? Well, I don't. Not at all, you know. And here it says, the guy was a Turk, and he had three naturalized children. So they want to make, like, 
uh, Swissies out of them. You know, outside they look like Turkeys, inside Swissies, and you know, they have a Turkish nationality as well. Uh, <coughs> and they try and go and import them in Turkey, you know. And maybe they make it into the, uh, the, the Turkish parliament. And this is how the Turkish people, you know, they, you know, they, they have no chance, you know, with these sort of, they, they're doing the same thing in Africa everywhere, you know. And uh, it says, you know, the Turkish guy, they had two house searches, you know, looking for weapons, you know. The Swiss, you know, they, they, it's the country where they have the most weapons per capita in the world, you know. Everyone has weapons, you know, assault rifles at home with ammunition, um, totally, you know, um, fully automatic and everything, you know. But as a foreigner, you know, you are not allowed to have anything, you know. And they even put it on you, you know, in a country where everybody has guns and, and weapons, you know. And uh, it says... You know, they, they put him in a psychiatric hospital, in a, in a clinic here, Turkey's origin. And, um, and for Mother Elisa and their three children, the Kesp, they're very dangerous. They're extremely dangerous. And I see myself, it's full of homosexuals. And they hate everything male, you know, which is known, you know. I'm probably not allowed to say this, as you know, you know, they can, you know, um, well, the CAS will give no further information. You know. So they can discriminate the Turk, no problem. They can dis discriminate, you know, Muslims or patriarchal uh, man, or they, they did discriminate me. And if I just say it, you know, what happened? And the hatred, you know, they, they did upon the Turk, you know, and, and, and upon me. Then they probably say, well, I discriminate them. Only for saying it, you know. It's not allowed, you know. But they can discriminate me and normal males. No problem. That's okay, yeah. Well, I'm, I tell you, it's not okay. And these people are not nice. They are not, you know. It's very obvious, you know. The Swiss media too are full of hateful homos who gratefully grab the situation to slander the young Turk in their evil quest against the patriarchy and against Islam in particular. Because Islam does not accept any off-roads of the creation like homos and their hatred against man. So here you can see the uh, psychiatrist, you know, what. Well, just look at him, you know. And so he talks, and everybody, you know, everything but the truth, yes? So uh, it says, so this is his name uh, Joseph Zachs. That means somebody from Saxony, but well, he's Swiss, but I mean the name, yeah? So what can you tell about the personality of the killer? He says, you know, uh, they w he wanted not to lose the control of his family. Well, of course he doesn't. He's his father, yeah? He doesn't want to leave his kids, you know, with some, you know, with the uh, the rapist of the Kesp. Won't he now? He's a Turk, you know. He, he loves his children and he dies first before, you know, before lose control over his family. What's wrong with it? You psychiatrist, hey, what's wrong with that? Uh, he tried to exercise power. Yeah, well, here you see the, the Horus Matrix. He didn't want their, his children to become too Swiss. He wanted to keep them a little bit like Turkish, you know, but probably 50-50, you know, uh, like a... Um, but the Swiss, they wanted to make 100% Swiss out of them, you know, for the for the obvious reasons, as I just told you. And so because of this, you know, he says because of this, because he he wants to keep control over his family and tell his sons, well, listen, you know, life is about this and this. You shouldn't do this, you know. And this is one of the main things, you know, because 
the children are the products of Pharaoh. They are not you. They're not your children. You know, forget it. And because of this, because he was a loving father, you know, and he didn't. He wanted to to raise his children. You know, so they call him narcissistic. You know, they say, well, he did it for himself. You know, like there are parents who teach their children like three or four languages for themselves. So they feel proud, you know. You see how twisted it all is. This is, this is evil, folks. Really, it's it's. And uh, at the end, you know, they they take the opportunity. For more restrictive laws, you know, what lessons can be learned from the case? You know, they want more. So this guy wants to have more power over us, and he's saying the Turk is doing it. You know, they're just turning the whole thing upside down. So it says here, you know, but Red, you know, uh, we have to act rashly and equal, re revolutionize the entire system. So what do they, you know, they use like a soft uh, word for it. But what he means, you know, that they want more restrictive laws, you know. This is what he means with re revolutionize. They just so they can just grab you from the streets, you know, what they're already doing. And uh, more laws to just put you away. And this is what he means with to revolutionize. They are so smart. Swissy is incredibly smart. They tw they twist the words, you know. They always do, you know, because they're so clean, you know. And and they they are the perfect criminals, you know. They they are the perpetrators of perfect crime, really. The Swiss are serial killers, you know. And for me, it's clear, you know, the Turk wouldn't have never done it if they if they wouldn't this guy here if they if he wouldn't have pumped him full with full of poisons as a guinea pig a and b if they wouldn't have taken his children away and c if they wouldn't have locked him up in his in a psych in a locked psychiatrical hospital then it would never have happened you did it yourself swissy you liars Oh, there he is again, the psychiatrist. He's probably, you know, his family are probably friends with Dr. Mengele or, you know, from the same, uh, maybe, anyway, from the same bloodline, you know. And here it says that word, you know. So this is the same article as the one before, only this one is in German. And here it says, Irrenkiller. That means the mad killer. Why use an English word, you know, in a German Newspaper. It all has a meaning, you know. So the media call my defenseless Turkey's brother the Ira Killer or the Insane Killer, using the English word killer in a German speaking newspaper to get that Hollywood impact, associating a tormented father with a serial killer. Oh, this is what Swizzy loves, to destroy other people with their filthy Swiss tongues, twisting the words and the, and the reality and the truth. And it's getting worse by the day in Octogon. Swiss media knowing they don't even need to use the word criminal foreigner anymore, as Swiss media has been doing that for years already, manipulating the general mindset. And now millions of Swiss ready for using their three newly built concentration camps. I'll show you the whole article for those and I'll put it in the descriptions for you. Uh, oh, this is interesting. So these are the last words here as they, you know, as are they using, uh, you know, for schnell zu handeln und das gleich und das gleich das komplette System umkrempeln zu wollen. Uh, yeah, more laws against humanity. Great, it's like the Patriot Act. They're using this, you know, and apparently last week they passed another Patriot Act in France too. And uh, that Patriot Act in France. 
the French people don't like these sort of things. Of course, it was made by Swissy, by their Swiss interior minister, Manuel Valls, who was 100% Swiss. I made a video about that in French. With this document, I defend the honor of my Turkish brother, hoping his children and relatives will see this document one day, hearing the truth versus that Swiss evil and their Nazi lies. How my Turkish brother must have felt. Drugged, destroyed, children gone, alone against Swiss evil all around, and his only friend a gun for a final honorable way out of that misery against overwhelming Swiss hatred and so organized, legalized by media and authorities. So here you can see, this was in The Guardian, I'll put it in the links for you. That was last year, and it said, for the Swiss court it's okay when a police officer calls an immigrant a foreign pig, a dirty asylum seeker, insulting, uh, you know, and, and under these conditions we have to live here. And this is, this is nothing compared to all the other things they do here. So this is really the tip of the iceberg and um, it shows here, this is how they treat us, you know. And this is what the, the Turk um, had to live with. And me too. And uh, because he opened up his mouth, you know, and said, well, he also returned it to the Swiss, you know. And so that's why they put him away, you know. I don't even talk to Swiss anymore, it's no use. They're a bunch of evil, sadist, Nazi liars. Yeah. I don't even, I, I know how they are, you can't change them. They're very different from the Germans, you know. In Germany there's a, there's a real big, um, you know, anti-movement against Nazis. There always has been, even before Mr. Hitler, during Mr. Hitler, you know. The, the German Nazis, they got back up from Switzerland. And this is how they won. Because these people are incredibly sly. They have something... They have something more, you know. There must be the pharaonic thing, you know. So here, the Swiss justice system, it says it's okay, you know, calling immigrants uh, a foreign pig, a dirty asylum seeker, etc., etc. I, I heard a lot of things, you know. And this is what they did with the, with that young Turk, you know. And now they call him the uh, the insane killer. You know, it's, this is what Switzerland is. So this was an article in the Guardian. I mourn for you, my Turkish brother, because I know they did the same to me. I feel with you, my Turkish brother, and I hope some good Turks will come and see me and discuss a way to protect our families against this Swiss evil. I also went through hell, and I still do, here in wicked Switzerland, just for being an immigrant, being a male, and for opening my mouth. And now I'll open my mouth for you, my Turkish brother, and victim of Swiss organized crime. It says, foreigners receive harsher sentences than the Swiss. Nowhere in the prisons are as many aliens as in Switzerland, you know. Uh, they're racist judges. I tell you, it's even worse, you know. It's, it's not even... Um, the Swiss don't get punished at all, you know, Swiss child molesters, banksters, anything you want, you know. And the foreigner, he goes into prison for nothing at all. It's worse than they say here, you know. They admit just a little bit. It's always the same. It's a lie. The article is a lie in itself because everybody knows and they're just stalling time. They know concentration camps are coming back. And another world war coming back, and they're just stalling time, so they give in a little bit, you know, and they say, well, they, they just get harsher sentences. Well, I tell you, they absolutely fill up the prisons with totally innocent people, as they did with me.
I'm not a criminal. I refuse. I never was. I never will be. And the police and the authorities, they just lie things together. You know, this is this is the most uh, the most evil people on the entire planet. I'm I'm totally convinced now. They're behind everything. Hey, you sisters of Isis and your satanic homo servants, I'm just a man. I was born like that. And I'm not a macho, nor do I oppress women. I'm just a male, very male. And I just don't want to be F-U-C-K'd. <clears throat> that makes me itchy and irritable. I'm just a male with a big heart, not tolerating injustice and your Swissy genocides. I knew I had lost against such a superior force of massive numbers, realizing the only way to eradicate the evil Swiss adversary would be by a thorough analysis for the cause of justice, presenting the world, and that's what I did bringing more Swiss hatred and terror upon me and my family for speaking out. Yes, my Turkish brother, I lasted 18 years of Swiss incessant terrorism, knowing their deeds, foul Swiss lies, an incredible organization in the name of darkness. That's from the BBC, the article, put in the links. Swissy murdered their Turkish victim in their social experiment to make a garden gnome for the sisters of Isis out of him and see how far they could go. The Turk was a victim and very much afraid. Well, why else do you think he had to install video cameras around his house? So before taking up arms as a last resort, he tried everything else, but well, author Swiss authorities will never treat an immigrant's complaint in Switzerland. So here you can read that again. He installed on his front door uh, some cameras and his explanation, I was threatened. The man was afraid. He is not the aggressor. He is the victim. And now Swissy... Nazi Swiss, they just slip into the victim's role. It's what they always do. Oh, we were afraid of Mr. Hitler, you know? Oh, come on. Imagine the poor man standing on his last day with a handgun in his pocket and trembling because of all the poison Swiss he had pumped him up with. The brave Turk must have been incredibly strong, hardly being able to think clearly and concentrate because of all the satanic garbage in his veins and realizing he would never see his children anymore, who were already kidnapped by the Swiss devils. So he decided to die standing up, shaking and trembling, but not on his knees with only his willpower left and no control over his muscles because all of all the satanic garbage Swissy had injected into his veins with this Turkish victim of Swiss tyranny. Yes, this is what Swissy does to people. As I got this letter today on May 15, 2015, about another condemnation of May 11, 2015, for speaking the truth on YouTube about Swiss police, liars and the corrupt Nazi police. Well, you know the story, I'm not going to repeat it. And in spite of the fact another YouTuber has already paid for the same matter last year, 
Now they sentenced me to 180 plus 40, making 220 days in prison, which is almost a year, only for speaking the truth in my YouTube videos about evil Swiss crimes against humanity. So here you can read the whole thing here. Well, that's me here. And here it says 180 days. And here it says another 40 days. Altogether, almost one year in prison. For, they say it's for slander. I'm only telling the truth. They are doing the slander. And for swearing. Beshimfung. Well, I didn't. You know, you can all see it. and they, There's absolutely no proof at all. They're just a bunch of criminals and they want to get me in prison. If, they get, if I get there one day, well, I never get out anymore. Just as they did with the Turk. And you all see the crown here? The bear, you know, the land of the bear. As John saw it, this is the aristocracy. That's, that's where they are, you know. So, and uh, this is what it's all about. It's about my YouTube videos. It's political, and uh, they don't want people to talk about neutral Switzerland, you know, the base of all evil. There it is. It's about YouTube. It says here, YouTube. It's a dictatorship. They're behind everything. The Second World War, the First World War, the Thirty Year War. Now what's going on in the Muslim countries is all being financed by Switzerland. It, this is evil. It's plain evil. You see, it's all about YouTube. So I'm, I, they want to put me now in the slammer for almost a year. And I, I will never get out of this, you know, they're going to pump me full of sort of, all sort of uh, psychopharmica, just as they did with the, with the Turkish victim. And they already wrote a lot of things, and, and as they wrote about me recently in the newspaper with that hit list, it's, all, it's also going in a psychiatrical direction, you know. And... Um, if I go in there for one day, I'll never get out anymore again. So, that's Switzerland. You know, this, this, this gives joy to the Swiss heart. Terror. Nazi, plain Nazi terror. In the name of Dr. Mengele and the Nazis. You know, it, it's, it's the same legacy. They never, it, they, they never stopped. The Nazis were never conquered. It just went on. So if you don't hear from me anymore and no more new videos, you all know what happened. Eh? And inside the Swiss Nazi penitentiary, Swissy will lie more things together so they can send me into a mental institution forever, as they did with the brave Turk and many, many others. Many immigrants get suicided and murdered by the Swiss Nazi authorities as in this prison here, where Swissy recently in 2015 murdered three immigrant prisoners in less than a month's time. And there was only one of their many prisons, and this endless Swiss terror and lies against me and other immigrants, like the brave Turk, and against my family has been going on for 18 years now without a pause. So here you can read it, you know, this is the third prisoner who died within one month in his cell. And that's only one prison here, you know. So this is a prison in Zurich, uh, where money is more important than human life anyway. Here's another prison, another prison where a prisoner was lying dead in his cell. And here another one in the canton of Nietewalden, another prison. So, uh, 
It says it was a Swiss, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe it was an Italian born or an Algerian born in Switzerland or, you know. So, here you can read it. You know, there was a Serb, 50 years old, um, a Nigerian. They're all immigrants. They murder them. <laughs> they have murdered many, many people. And well, I showed it in my other videos. I'm not going to repeat it. So here's a more close up. Here's the old article. There you go. So you can see there was like um, 2015, May the 4th. It's just, what is it, a week ago. It's happening all the time. I'm not even showing it all anymore, you know. It's. I mean, well, what else to say? So here you can see one of the Swiss Nazi posters which the Swiss show in the streets and this one is against Turks as you can see. So all three of them are Turks here that's you know it's quite obvious you can see that can't you. So these rotten Swiss liars will probably slap me with some more of their only for Swissy laws. So if there's any Turk who can help me get a Turkish nationality I would be proud to be to do so and become a Turkish citizen, because I've realized that the uh, the West is pure evil and Switzerland the head of it all. Anyway, I've been a dirty Turk in between quotation marks, of course, here in Switzerland for 18 long years, as the Swiss call all Turkish immigrants. So I might just as well become a real Turk. I'm white, non-Muslim, not religious, and have been spit out by the West. And because no government in the world, including the Turkish government, will ever do anything against Switzerland, which is the United Kingdom of the Red and White House of Pharaoh, and that's why I've put the name of the Turkish Grey Wolves in the title, in the hope they will see my video, Saving the Young Turks' Honor, because I heard that the Grey Wolves protect the people from Turkey. And for the rest, I'm unaware of their activities, really. Rest in peace, my brave Turkish brother. You were not the one who was violent, but these Swiss devils were, as violence has endless many faces, and you just wanted to stop this Swiss violence, once and for all. Violence has endless many faces, of which all are allowed except one, the male physical reaction mostly for defense. A woman and the sisters of Isis stand all sorts of impunishable violences at her disposal, and most sisters of Isis make daily use of them. Psychological violence, violence in union, conspirative violence, violence behind one's back, violence of the the theatrical lies, Violence of delegating state's forces, just if her mood says so. Violence of taking away his kids. Violence of aimed preparation of mobbing. Violence of all sorts of either hysterical or calculated provocations, etc., etc. Thus, the big violence sneaks in through the back door. As a man, even queers try to have a go at you, cause they, cause even they've got the message through. There won't be any appropriate male reaction anymore. She knows she's, she'll always win. Society, justice and police are feminine, clearly seen in German and French, where D and la means feminine. 
So in German that's die Gesellschaft, die Polizei, die Justiz. So all in service for the Sisters of Isis. Further promoted by the fact that the symbol of a man is on purpose, traditionally being represented by Jesus on the cross. That's no else than present day's male symbol. He can't run away because he's got his feet nailed. He can't defend himself because he's got his hands nailed. He can only move his head, nod and say, Yes, darling. No, honey. Or yes, Mr. President. No, Judge, sir. So this is a picture of Sean Ross being eaten alive by the Swiss pharaonic state and their crimes against humanity, while he's gradually choking them with his texts. One can stop a bullet, but one cannot stop the word. A hey, Swissy, no matter how much you try, you will not stop the word. You will not stop the First Amendment. Now, May 17, 2015, and a week after Swissy murdered their young Turkish family father, it gets clear for what evil reasons they pushed their Turkish victim over the limits. Now they come up with a new restrictive with new restrictive laws to put resisting males and loving fathers in detention facilities just on site and in the hands of pharaonic shrinks, sisters of Isis and their very numerous homo servants working as male and female nurses in the boogie house. It says, well, I, I showed you, I, they put me on the hit list and then, you know, in, in one of my other videos. So there are 2,000 people in Switzerland that are considered dangerous. So I am most certainly on the list because I'm politically very dangerous. Because I'm telling the truth. I understand what's going on, both as a historian and um, um, engaging, you know, for justice and uh, against injustice and um, politically active so this is what they want to do you read the whole story here put in the links for you and uh here it says about the uh the new code of criminal procedure, you know, in 2011. And it's, talk, it's talking about preventive detention, you know, so they can just lock you up. The Nazis did the same with the uh, Reichstagsbrand. In America, the Patriot Act was founded upon 9-11. And in France, last week, or two weeks ago now, they... Um, they put in a new law, a new, it's the French Patriot Act upon the uh, Char Charlie uh, Hebdo affair uh, in Paris. So a new law that had already set in place in January 2011, three months short before they arrested me with that Swiss Mafia terrorist squad putting three guns on my head putting the whole house upside down and now because of the resistance of a young brave Turk they want to restrict that new Swiss law against masculinity and immigrants in general even more. It's so predictable they sacrificed four collaborating snitch Swiss lackeys and a Turk to get even more total control grip over humanity. You know, it's like royal chess, you know, on a Freemason checkerboard. And they're creating the Swiss hit list database. Go and watch the video. They're doing it. 
So here's the article in German about the uh, the hit list. So as in my case, you know, the police can just lie something together and say, as they wanted to say in the beginning at first, that I uh, I th I attack them, I threaten them, you know. But my wife and children were there, so finally they they said, well, I I was swearing. So if apparently for swearing you go to prison, and I didn't even swear. So they can just lie a bunch of things together. Then you're on the list and you're gone forever, you know. And then you have to talk with these sort of guys here, you know. Who can finish off your life, you know, as they did with the young Turkish father. So this is what's happening. You know, read it all. So that was yesterday in the newspaper. After the, uh, after what happened. So here it is in... German. There's some more pictures in it. All dangerous were uh, people, you know. So, and well, you don't have to study five years of psychoanalysis that if you take away a Turk, his children, his human dignity, his honor, his health by medicational poisons, thus his entire life, <laughs> well, then you better hide, eh? Well, you bet the psychiatrist and his homo nurses were hiding far away, and the judge too, therefore doing their crimes anonymously, because this is exactly what they wanted, sacrificing five lives on that pharaonic red and white chessboard for the reign of Sethon. Five pawns offered for some real good grip on the rest of the population with an excellent prognosis to win the game. Well, who doesn't know the consequences that if you do all these filthy satanic crimes to a Muslim, how the man will react? A reaction that will come as certain as a cat catches mice. Do we really want to leave this authority in the hands of some Masonic chess players and have them parasite on our slavery wages with their golden salaries? It's really so predictable. It always takes about a week after the event they come up with new oppressive laws. The goal of Sethon and his manipulated sisters Incubi et Sukubi to forbid males and masculine behavior to be replaced by a human Monsanto race of infertile homosexuals with no seeds having to fill in a triple form at your local pharaoh if you want to reproduce. With Pharaoh's genetics only. The Swiss hit list against natural male behavior. No more loving fathers allowed to protect the family. Here in Europe last night, most TV channels showed a live broadcast of a traditional huge event since 1956 called the Eurovision Song Contest, where they had this creature stuffed in a woman's dress with female makeup and a heavy black beard, which called itself Conchita Wurst, meaning the win the finals with a song called the Rise of the Phoenix. And the Phoenix is the symbol for a future resurrection after death. Probably the resurrection of the Abominable. One also referred to as the Lord of Darkness and the flapping of his wings can almost be heard already. It came from Austria 
winning for Austria. And I wonder if the people of Austria has been done a favour by winning. I guess most normal Austrians would rather have Austria lose as being represented by this thing in female clothes and a beard. Everything is upside down. Doctors make us sick. Banks steal our money. Cops beat us up instead of defending the population. And undefinable creatures with heavy black beards and dress up in women's clothes get praised and worshipped. Its Austrian name Wurst means a sausage in German. And Conchita is Spanish slang for little cunt coming from the word concha, giving altogether little cunt sausage, a very carefully chosen name which makes the whole thing even more perverted. But that's not all. It even goes deeper still. Conchita also means conception and a name given to Christian daughters in Latin America and Spanish-speaking countries as referring to Maria and uh, Mary and the Immaculate Conception, thus precisely joining into the Satanic agenda and not just only the Homo agenda, all in all adding up to the joy of Barry and Michael and their community. And in spite of the fact that these agitators claim equality, they openly discriminate Christians by deliberately misusing the name of the Holy Virgin Mary, one of the main pillars of their religion, and place her on the altar, altar of the abominable through this highly satanic ritual while falsely preaching respect and peace. And while this creature with a beard in woman's clothes openly claims in the media we are unstoppable as an open declaration of war to anyone whom it concerns. And it asked immediately after the show if President Putin had already seen the monster show of the Eurovision Song Contest. Well, this is a weapon of mass destruction. And in spite of the fact that they cannot reproduce themselves, it appears to be that there are more and more of them, gays and lesbians. Why? I've come to the conclusion after many years of scientific research that in the case of a perfectly healthy normal woman after extensive hormone, hormonal consumption without interruption of the female anti-baby pill, hormones are being deposited in the reproductive organs and even directly pump in the later planned baby with pregnancy dissimulating hormones as oestrogen and gestagen, making it quite obvious that boys filled up with female hormones will feel sexually rather attracted towards other men. A lifelong search for the stolen masculinity. This only the devil and his own true people can think of. And in utterly witty mood, the anti-conception pill's father, Carl Gerasi, apparently said to his insider colleagues in and around the laboratory in 1951, double action birth control. Well, now we have in our possession a birth control with a double function, thus not being a weapon solely against man or males as the inventor states out, but a weapon against entire peoples, women and children included. And today there's even talk of a triple action because of the excess on feminine matters or too much yin element male aspects as the sperms are quickly disappearing. Already one couple out of a hundred has to be helped with artificial insemination. Through the sewers we even find pathological amounts of these female hormones back into our food chain. They knew it and they wanted it like this 
until a time will come where we have to fill in a triple form to apply for a baby with the state's official parenthood permit plus a waiting list of 10 years at the sperm banks of the pharaohs with of course their own genetics only well this is what the newspapers say about the bearded bearded lady who won the uh the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, there's some pictures and all that. Okay. And here's some more in the newspapers, and they write about it as if it were the most normal thing in the world. A bearded lady. Well, these are the same mainstream media who lied about 9-11, who want us to believe that, eh? Don't they now? And if they can lie about 9-11, well, they lie about everything. <laughs> so here it is in Wikipedia. See, it started in 1956, the inauguration. Oh, look, now it gets interesting. Look at this. You can look it up yourself. Look. The first contest was held in the town of Lugano in Switzerland in 1956, the host nation. And the European Broadcasting Union, based in Switzerland, Octogon, the home of the seven... The beast with the seven heads of the Lord of Darkness. It's always from here. You see? Well, look it up yourself, you know. Just punch pause. It's from Switzerland. It's everything. Geneva and, you know. Okay, here's some Spanish lessons, Conchita, well, it means the little cunt, slang. And don't you tell me they didn't know this. Oh no, come on. So Conchita is diminutive for concha, and here it says what it means, it, it, it says what it means, yeah? La concha de tu madre. No. This is real filthy language, together with wurst, the sausage. Which is not really it, its real name or whatever it is. Well, here's some more about the name Conchita. Well, here it says it's a um, it's a name to honor the immaculate immaculate conception and the Virgin Mary. So it, it's it's not only filth the whole show in this Conchita worst thing, but it's pure hate, and it's disrespect and hate hatred towards others who think differently and it's uh, so the entire Eurovision show from Switzerland and this Conchita thing is a uh, is a precisely chosen insult towards uh, Christianity and Christians they've been thinking a long time about this you know and uh, Con Conchita uh, worst, you know, the little cunt and, and uh, combining the little cunt together with the uh, the Virgin Mary. Well, they know exactly what they're doing. Well, this is the, uh, the Freemason agenda of the uh, Hermaphrodites and uh, these forces who want to destroy the creation. Oh, the whole Conchita thing reminds me of this guy, and even looks alike of one of the uh, the characters this guy here played, called uh, Bruno, also from Austria, and looks very much alike. I always like to look at the uh, where people come from, you know, and their their early life, so you can read it yourself here. Uh, Maurice Cohen. 
and um, Cohen, Israel. That's quite interesting. So I, I, I really don't want to show all these uh, all these pictures of Bruno and and uh, or Bruno and and well there he is you know but um, a gay from Austria just as this Conchita thing you know and uh, so I just do it quick here so this is Wikipedia I just punch pause. And there he is, the inventor of the pill, Mr. Carl Gerasi. Funny name. There, there's his name. Who, uh, who brought this misery to the world, actually, of so many children who got born, even they had their lives destroyed, even before they were born, with all those hormones because of this pill. Yeah. Well, just punch pause. Read it yourself. It has all been worked out, see. Well, some background information about Karl Gerasi. Apparently the guy's also from Austria, just as Bruno, just as Conchita, Wurst. And where is his ancestry from, like the early life here. Both parents were Jewish. Alice Friedman. Uh, Went to America, Wisconsin, and um, wow, gave us the pill and all the misery that came with it, including last night's pervert show. Well, I think it's due to the pill, yeah. So women don't take it, please, because, and a lot of women get very aggressive of it, masculine, you know. Walking around with a cold and a sheriff's uniform, and they're not female anymore, you know. But what else can you expect with all those female hormones? And you know, when you're taking too many female hormones, um, the body there there's a masculine uh, reaction to it. You know, it's the same with uh, bodybuilders taking too much, uh, too many. Um, uh, hormones, you know, to masculine. Um, testosterone uh, hormones, you know, to be male, the male growing hormones. Huh, they grow titties, you know. <laughs> and with women, it's the other way around. And when thinking about the children who suck it all up, like, for 10 years, you know, it, it, it's everywhere, you know. <laughs> they won't be looking for the lost and stolen masculinity by Mr. Carl Gerasi for the rest of their lives. Well... I hope you enjoyed the monster show then. I hope God is watching YouTube. In Octogon, Switzerland, tens of thousands of asylum seekers have disappeared and vanished into thin air. And only in the year 2012, 3,000 vanished. Seeing the reality and Switzerland collaboration with the Nazis and even financing the Nazis and giving them Red Cross passports to escape through the red line to Argentina and Spain, it must be assumed that the Swiss murdered all these refugees and burned their bodies as in Auschwitz. Or does anyone think that thousands of refugees just left Switzerland after having paid enormous sums for their dangerous and long voyage into the promised land. No, not really, did they now? And in Switzerland it is impossible for an immigrant to hide or stay low because the Swiss survey all immigrants, call up the police all the time and where you can't live anonymously as in Paris for instance. So, though these guys are definitely not in Switzerland anymore, or at least not alive. With all those incessant ID controls on immigrants by the Swiss Nazi police and Swiss neighbours keep an eye on everything what's going on. I already gave you the proofs of how the Swiss are building three large concentration camps 
they show all immigrants like uh, in the streets with uh, as all sort of animals and of tortured detention centers in Switzerland where many immigrants were murdered and how the Swiss Nazi police lies to put immigrants in prison upon orders by the Swiss Nazi Justice Department. The police arrest you for nothing, takes you in the car and then people just disappear. This happened to tens of thousands and they tried it with me too. So this was in the newspaper yesterday, uh, August the uh, 19th, in this newspaper here, as you can read here, August 19th, 2013. And here you can read the whole story if you like. And if you don't understand German, just look at the numbers of how many people just disappeared in a country where nobody can disappear. And certainly not tens of thousands. They know everything. They control everything here. The neighbors, the, the authorities, everything. It's unbelievable. Yesterday, on August 19th, 2013, several Swiss ran over an Egyptian refugee on the Swiss motorway, where they're doing 130 kilometers an hour. The man probably ran for his life trying to get away from abduction by a Swiss murder squad uh, from Octogon. The young man died, of course, and the Swiss he keeps silent and pretend to know nothing, as usual. I mean, you don't run on a high-speed motorway in the dark unless you have, you have to, because you're very frightened of something and someone chasing you. Octogon and the Swiss are masters in perfect crime and are incredible in keeping tight through the Swiss omerta of the world's greatest crime syndicate. So here you can see the whole article that was yesterday. Another one gone. So, in order to avoid uncontrollable events like on the motorway, they even force certain immigrants to live in bunkers high up in the Alps, miles away from the nearest village, where nobody can see what happens, and where it's much easier to have them disappear with n nearby incineration facilities, where no one will smell a thing. So, again, this was in the newspaper. When was that? And, um, well, these are the type of Swiss Nazis who, uh, I mean, look at them. He looks very innocent, doesn't he? He uh, looks a bit like Teflon Tony, doesn't he? But they're not innocent. Oh, no. Oh, no. So here you can read the proofs about the Swiss uh, torture detention facilities where it's green. It, it's uh, there's talk about the uh, the torture of being of putting people in cells where there's no not enough oxygen being the O2T torture um, as in waterboarding even worse so this is how they make people leave Switzerland and if they don't want well they find other ways to do it By terror and um, by plainly murdering them. Code O2T is the deprivation of oxygen to a near life threatening degree, which is the easiest to regulate in order to create slow death lift. So I'll just punch pause if you want to read it. There you go. Just punch pause. This is what they're doing in Switzerland. The home of the Templars, Octogon.
Switzerland, Octagon. Their business is death. A few days ago, on February 12, 2015, the Swiss newspapers announced that 25% of the Swiss are hostile to foreigners, meaning all foreigners, like German immigrants, Americans, English, French, etc. It was an official state, Swiss state research in which they interviewed people, probably asking like, you like foreigners? Are you active against foreigners? And only 25% said yes. So here's the entire article. It says uh, 12 February 2015. That is in German. It's not very much, you know, like spilling out like in the um, in the international newspapers about this. They, they they keep these things sort of all local, you know. Do you think they all honest honestly replied, or that most rather Swiss smiled through their teeth? And what would be the percentage of Swiss policemen being hostile to foreigners? Ninety percent, maybe, or probably even more. My 18 long years experience with the Swiss and living in Switzerland is that yes, 25% of the Swiss are very actively hostile to foreigners. Another 25% mere actively hostile. And 50% find it quite alright that the others are actively hostile to foreigners. Well, you better not believe any Swiss reports anyway. It's the same with the 2002 Berger report about Switzerland's role during World War II. By a Swiss professor of history of economics called Jean-François Berger, lecturing for 30 years from 1969 to 1999 at the same Polytechnic University of Zurich, which the Nazi Rudolf Hess attended also before inviting Hitler to Switzerland for some Swiss financing of the Nazis and World War II. So, here it is. He, well, he did this independent commission of experts uh, about Switzerland's role in World War II. And um, here it says he was at the... Uh, the prestigious from 1969 here to the prestigious history of civilizations chair at the Polytechnic School in Zurich University where he remained in, until 1999 and then he started to do this uh, the Swiss fraud about the Second World War uh, uh, I mean what, what kind of a thing is it anyway you know history of economics it's only a Swiss that can invite a thing, invent a thing like that, eh? Yeah. Independent Commission of Experts by the Swiss state. So this is on Wikipedia. So it says in this article here that um, uh, Rudolf Hess in 1922, he was studying in Zurich, Zurich Studiert. Um, he was the replacement of Hitler and his friend Villa who financed him. So this is the same school where the uh, where he elected the, the professor who wrote the Swiss fraud um, about um, the, the Berger report, Jean-François Berger. Well, he lectured for 30 years in the same school. So starting only uh, 15 years after World War II in the same school, just a some decades before Rudolf Hesse was there, you know, it's all it's all centered around the same Swiss Zurich, uh, you know. Well, 
um, before um, that couple of years in Zurich, he was in Neuchâtel in Switzerland, where they speak French. So Rudolf Hess, he must have spoken French. And Jean-François Berger, the guy of the Swiss fraud of the, uh, the, the World War II report, the Berger report, well, he speaks French too. And he was born in Lausanne, where he lived, which is just around the corner from Neuchâtel. So uh, they all go to Switzerland, don't they now? They all study in Switzerland, so this is on Wikipedia. They all study in Switzerland and, and live before they attack the world. You know, they organize in Switzerland. It's all based around Switzerland. And this guy here, he was born in Egypt, a pharaoh. So he went back to the motherland in the Alps, the European motherland of pharaoh. To, um, to annoy us with all their wars and... It's always Switzerland, believe me. The Berger report started in 1996 and was finished six years later with a total cost of 22 million Swiss francs, calling it an independent commission experts, short ICE, by the Swiss state. Well, sounds good, eh? Independent experts. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the... Here's their, their email. You can write them. You can write them a mail. And the name is ICE. Like there's a lot of gletchers in Switzerland, or as a cold calculation of the the ice cold Swiss hard, which can only calculate and put money together. You know. That's why it's ICE. This typical little, you know, like uh, marks. They always put it everywhere. This is their Swiss humor. Cold, icy calculation of an icy Swiss heart. My friend Glenn on channel Hell Wars calls that getting Swiss cheesed. Well, here's the real Berger report and it's for free. And it was also made in Switzerland and without some icy calculations a youtube video called auschwitz made in switzerland anyone believe swissy suffered a sudden attack of righteousness honesty and transparency making that report all of a sudden no not really eh they were under pressure internationally in the 19s 90s for their collaboration with hitler and the nazis with watchman Christoph Maile finding Nazi documents at the USB Swiss banks, which he is explaining on his YouTube channel here in this video. Go and have a look. So here he is, Christoph Maile from YouTube, um, uh, which happened at the same time of the, uh, the Berger report fraud of the Swiss state independent experts <laughs> from by the independent Swiss state and their neutrality swindle. So sly Swissy forged history and sealed the out outcome off with a Swiss made so called independent report by Swiss experts that Switzerland never did anything wrong and Swissies are so neutral, clean and innocent. Today, October 15th, 2013, another asylum seeker home burned down in Switzerland. And while the rubbles are still smoking, the Swiss Nazi police says, oh, it was a short circuit. The very same thing they always say, it was an electrical so short circuit. There must have some wizard there who can immediately see through smoke and coal that it was an accident. While well, even electrical short circuits can be the result of sabotage by some Swiss Nazis. The more, the asylum seeker homes burn all the time in Switzerland. It happens about every month, which I already showed you in another video some time ago. You can read that. You can see the date in the newspaper. I'm tired of showing 
what's really happening here in Switzerland because the Nazi state of Switzerland stands above all laws and can do how it pleases. Nobody intervenes. They sign all the international agreements including those concerning asylum seekers and then the Swiss make sure they will leave by themselves through organized terror and make sure that no complaints by a foreigner or immigrant gets treated by the Swiss Nazi judiciary. So there will never be any international follow-up like in Strasbourg European Court. The Swiss, they bow for the wealthy and powerful and they spit on the poor and the defenseless. There you can read the whole story. This is the name of the newspaper it was in, it's called 20 Minutes. Nice, charming country. Chess is a beautiful game which teaches you to think in the deep, prepare 10 moves ahead and anticipate your opponent's actions, just as in real life. It's a war game to develop your sense for strategy, in which Pharaoh and their Swiss are true masters who know humanity's reaction, following all moves the evil from the Alps undertakes. It is therefore no wonder the game of chess is pharaonic in origin, developed by the oldest people on earth according to the Bible, the ancient Egyptians. And just see that it was the sisters of Isis playing chess in ancient Egypt. It's a woman playing chess. They called it Senet in ancient Egypt. Uh, I, ca I could translate it, but I'd need some time to, to do so. And I didn't think it that important to translate it. Well, maybe it is. So here you can see some more Sisters of Isis playing chess. And uh, Senet, as they called it, it was a bit different. Um, it does sound like a Senate, you know, like in Washington like, or the US Senate. Or in Rome, you know, where they play chess with the people. Well, chess is a typical war game for Octogon, the Nazi Templar's military wing. Therefore, having eight fields at the base and 88, including the other coordinative component for 88's secret code of the Nazi Templars. And it has 8 times 8 is 64 fields in total, showing the numbers 6 and four of the structure of power as on the 684 alien disks. Six or hexagon for their political Freemason wing. Here in the middle, this is the center, you know. It's it's the aristocracy really. And you could put the uh, the square and compass in it. Freemasonry, through which Pharaoh is ruling. So these are the politicians in the middle, the ones ruling, who can be the king for a period of four years. Watch the film Aristocracy, and Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. Yeah, there it is, as on the alien disc, this is the square and compass of the Masons, the politicians, the aristocracy, the pharaohs, uh, in a hexagon. So this is what they mean with the alien discs. It fits in a uh, hexagon, the square and compass. This is the inner circle, the ones who give the orders, the ones who... Uh, the kings and queens, if you like. They are. They really are. Then defended by number eight, Octogon, the military wing. Here, this is octagonal as in most police badges and army caps and you know everything the worldwide blue army you know against us the people and this is actually us the people and here you can see a gestapo octagonal badge uh, it says geheimpolizei here it says geheimpolizei and gestapo it means geheime 
Staatspolizei. It means secret state police. Geheim, here, this word here, it means secret. And this is octagonal. And they were there, you know, to protect Mr. Hitler and all the other Nazis. And the inner circle, who were all, you know, all the, the they were all uh, nobility, aristocracy. And this is the same badge as the British police or in the American police. And all over the world, they're using the octagon. And this is the second circle, as I showed you on the, the alien disc, uh, who are there to protect the inner circle. This is number eight. So here's the British police. You see, it's, it's the same as the Gestapo badge. And they are the same, you know, they're only there to attack the people, the German people or the British people. It's all octagon. It's a second circle in the middle, in between us, number four, and them, number six, as in 64 fields on a chess game. And the chess game is, of course, the, um, the Freemason checkerboard uh, field of uh, 64. Uh, with the UK, United Kingdom or Pharaoh in red and white. It should be red and white actually. Some chess boards are. So you see it goes on and goes on and it goes on. You know? The British police. The same as the, uh, the Gestapo. It is the same. They were working together during the war. Believe me, they did. Of course they did. So this is quite funny here. Interesting. Here's a, a British police ba a badge, and here as well. Look, it has the colours of the German flag. You know, it just says the British Royal House. They are Germans. Well, they're not real Germans. They're pharaohs, of course. You know. <laughs> you see. Black, red, and gold. It's the German flag on a British police ba a badge. It's all Gestapo. Protected from us, number four. The base of the pyramids, hierarchy. Us, the commoners. So this is number four. This is the base of the pyramid, you know, of the hierarchy. And the inner circle, the aristocracy, who are in politics now and... and Freemasons, the inner circle, are protected from us, the number four, by Octogon, the police, the army, the worldwide blue army, uh, against us, the people. So they're standing in between them. You know, you can always see them, you know, with, with, their, with their shades on and, their, you know, talking in their, uh, in, in, into their jackets, you know, and, and fancy cars and... and standing there with with guns and everything you know because they're quite afraid of us you know the commoners here the base of the pyramid so i'll show you the chessboard one more time so the chessboard has 64 it has eight here eight and here eight it's octagon it's all in it you know this is the number eight octagon it has eight angles eight corners then there are 64 fields all together. Here's the number 6, which is hexagon, the Freemasons. And this is us, the number 4, the, the base of the pyramid. So here's 4, 8, 6. Like 64 fields and 8 sides. Well, it's, it's all... every number has a meaning. And that's us. The base here is number four. And this us, the people. And this is the pharaoh. You could also say this is number six here. The government officials. Here the soldiers. This is number eight. The scribes. The merchants. The artisans. The farmers. So farmers and here the people. You know, this, this is really number four. The base of the pyramid. You know, it's a square. Here's number six, government official, Freemasons, Mr. Pharaoh, the soldiers, the police, this is all the scribes, the authorities, merchants, you know, we have a corporate democracy, 
well, artisans, you know, the, the ones doing all the artwork for the king, you know, the, well, this is all, well, th this is all, you know, this is all, this is eight here, in the middle, even here, it's, it's, the number eight soldiers and the authorities, the scribes are, you know, in the middle, in between number six, the government officials and the pharaoh, and number four, even here, it shows uh, six, eight, four, and sixty-four, the numbers on a chess field with an eight side, it's all there. And here once more, slaves, farmers, number four. I don't agree with the place of artisans and, and merchants here. It should be high. the artisans are much higher up, just like Hollywood and actors, you know, uh, corporate democracy here. The scribes, the authorities, soldiers, this is all eight. And here we get to number six here. Just like on the alien disc. In the middle, six around. Eight to protect and four at the end, you know, like they they feel surrounded, you know, they're absolutely paranoid about us. And this is the outer circle, this is us, we are not your slaves, well yes you are, you're even behind bars here. So this is uh, six, eight, four, and four the outer circle, as on the alien disc. <laughs> I just put it everywhere, you know. In contrast to Pharaoh's nobility and the chess game's castle, the knights on horse, the bishops of their religious wing and whispering in, into the king's ear, and us the pawns ready to be sacrificed on the battlefield being disposable cannon fodder. So here, you know, there's also a, a proof, you know, or a, um, a sign that the... Uh, that this pharaonic game, that the pharaohs became the aristocracy, you know, that's why we have a castle here. We got a knight with a horse, we got a bishop, you know, the religious wing, whispering into the king's ear, you know. And this is us, here, all the pawns. That's us, we're all disposable on the battlefield. And this here is number eight. You know, this is the this happened this year, just a month ago in April, uh, two thousand and fifteen. This is the police in a tank, just stopping people in the uh, in the U.S. I think it was in Florida. So you all see the um, Teutonic Cross here. This is where the Templars went to, and the Templars of the North, uh, the the Prussian Templars, as in my film, uh, the Teutonic Knights. So this this is part of octagon, you see. So this is number eight. So the guy has only twenty eight views. So go and give him a few views. Go and go over there and make some comments, you know, and tell him Sean sent you. So April two thousand fifteen. The channel name is the Knowing One O One, and I'll put in the links for you in the description. Teutonic Knights, Octagon, number eight, which is the middle circle. They are protecting the parliament from us, you know, and they're getting bolder and bolder and bolder. So this is six. This is them, the rulers. This is parliament from the French words parlement. Parler, to talk, ment, mentir. To talk and to lie. <laughs> it really is. You know, and don't be mistaken, none of us will ever come here. This is all aristocracy, the all pharaohs, parliament, number six. The inner circle, and this is also in circles, you know. Number six, the inner circle of the alien disc. And on the chessboard, the octagon is serving the royals, kings and queens, just like the Swiss killers for the Pope and the aristocracy, the lackeys from the Alps to serve Seth or Seton, the Lord of Darkness, presenting it as a man's game for Octogon, in reality being highly matriarchal, which the king having all the power on paper only, being the weakest player of 64, 
doubled by the Queen, the true power of 64, able to strike in all directions and as far as the octagon 8 by 8 reaches, the long arm of power and the sisters of Isis. So this is the weakest player, it's the king, you see the cross here. This is the king, you know, it's only on paper, he's a paper tiger, you know, a, a cheese eater. <laughs> like uh, the, the Swiss dictator of Korea, of North Korea. It can only, you know, go one field at a time. But she is the strongest of all. You know, you can go all the way that way, diagonally, and um, it, can, it can go all ways. This is the strongest and most valuable player on the entire field. A woman, a sister of Isis. Cleopatra so and and this guy he's only on paper you know like yes he, he has to follow the orders of the sisters of Isis really otherwise you won't become a king or you won't become president you know this is how it works and it's all in the chess game it's all there and it shows on the alien or oh, I call them the alien discs <laughs> it's all on the alien discs really Ancient Egypt has always been the only matriarchal civilization of the antiques and wiping out all that is male-dominated and patriarchal in all sorts of final solutions. Where it always says that my daddy, the camp commander, was such an adorable father or my papa, the Nazi leader, was the best father I could have wished. Typical octagon cowards. At home, total sweet pussycat. At work, murdering millions of defenseless women and innocent children. Well, they are, these are typically the products of the Horus Matrix. And why were they sweet at home? Because they obeyed the mistress, the, the leader, the, the sisters of Isis, taking the orders of them. A total instrument of Isis, you know, obeying to our Isis and be nice to her children and her grandchildren and obeying all the orders and, and killing other children and torturing people. And this is so typically Swiss, very, very Swiss and pharaonic. Oh, you can read the whole article. Punch pause. Oh, they were so sweet at home, you know. So, you know, just like a lion in the zoo, you know, who's obeying, you know, the uh, the one with one with a whip, and uh, like a hunting dog, you know. Which will never attack the feeding hand or, you know, the ones giving the orders. This is how it works. This is the Horus Matrix. These are the sons of the sisters of Isis, you know. And then after the war, they all come lying, you know, and smile through their teeth. You know, just as the uh, Hitler secretary, you know, and say, Oh, well, I didn't know what was happening and I was so young, you know. And, well, you know, and... <laughs> Very Swiss. Octagon alone is worth nothing. But what do you do when 20 pufters in uniform come knocking at your door? Like these ones here, you know, and it's, it's absolutely schizophrenic, you know, just like the camp commandant or that dead policeman in the, in the, here in Switzerland. You know, they always say, oh, he was so sweet at home, you know. But at work, you know, they're murdering people, putting guns at their heads, you know. It's schizophrenic, it's typically Swiss, and it's typically Horus Matrix by the Isis Matriarchy. And Swissy, their sisters of Isis and their octagon, really prepare their coups and genocides, just as they are executing a witch hunt against me, as you can read here. 
in one of their national newspapers uh, trying to officially create hit lists for people like me who criticize Octagon of the Alps and their Nazi Templars just as Swissy had prepared hit lists for the Jews, Gypsies and political adversaries for their agent Mr. Hitler and his genocides. So here you can read it. I put it in the uh, in the Google translating machine, so the English might be a bit odd. And it says um, historian. Well, that's me. A South African keeps the Bernese authorities on their toes. And um, here it says again. They want to create a. Um, it says a querulous database. You know, this is a hit list. You know, well, they already have one. You know, on the, um, the in the in the police computer, and they're walking around with my picture. You know, and it says the policemen and the South Africans had known each other. You know, this is what I told you. These guys, you know, the, and this policeman who got killed. You know, they're really schizophrenic, you know, just like the camp commandant of Auschwitz. At home, you know, they are like, oh, he was so sweet, you know, and he was, he was so nice with the children and everything. And when they go out, you know, they put a gun on your head, they threaten you to kill you, you know. And they did threaten to kill, to kill me, you know, on several occasions. And they will do so. It's just a matter of time. They will kill me, as they have announced. And it says, South Africans, you know, defamations, you know, well, they are lying, you know, they're tr trying to put me in prison for nothing, you know. And if you talk about it, well, it's defamation. You know, but isn't it a defamation, you know, when they lie to, to put me in prison? It's, it's, it's real criminal, it is. And here they talk about the... Um, uh, well, you can read the whole article. Here it talks. It says somewhere. Um, here it says about the videos. You know. Here the video, and uh, th well, they don't like my videos. You know, that's why they try to put me on a hit list. You know. So well, I, I put the other. Uh, here it says the video films. You know about the police and about Switzerland. Why? Well, you cannot, you know, like, uh, criticize Switzerland. It gets very dangerous, you know. And uh, it says, to find videos on the net where the man known as the Swiss Nazis who wanted to take over the world domination. Well, it's, it's, it's strange English, you know, but anyway. Um, I put the German article in here as well. So this was last year. No, there was almost a year, a bit more than a year ago. At the end of 2013. And this Nazi terror of the Swiss is going on for almost 20 years. Can you believe it? You know? Swissy now is trying to mobilize the population against minorities with another way of seeing things, like myself. And I'm on their hit list, folks. And they openly, openly admit so in their national newspapers this year, 2013. Swissy is creating lists of people they want to get rid of. So here it says, you know, YouTube, a South African here. That's me. You know. And um, yeah, video films, you know. Well, what else can I do, you know? And um, they're talking about a. Uh, they're talking about the database. I'll show you the whole article first. So it says again, you know, Datenbank, that means a database, you know. So they're using a computer and so this is about me, you know, they, as I showed you in the other newspaper. It's like the witch hunt of the Middle Ages by the Swiss Pope's guard, based upon the Witch's Hammer, a Swiss book. Swiss is gratefully misusing all the inventions of the modern age others made to use them for 
organize medieval terror and crimes against humanity like setting up hit lists and databases on police computers and such. There you can read the whole article. Yeah. So this is what the Swiss Nazi people are doing. Yeah? And nobody does anything against it. They all agree. Even in Germany, they wouldn't agree with all this. Many people wouldn't. But in Switzerland, they all agree. That's the difference. The Jews are fortunate to have founded Israel away from Nazi terror. But Nazi terror in my family has entered the fourth generation now. My grandfather killed by the Nazis during World War II. My father suffered a lot for missing his father. Me, enduring 18 long years of Swiss Nazi terror, and my children taking the blows of Swiss Nazi terrorism. That's four generations of endless Nazi terror. And it doesn't seem they have any attention, intention to stop it. So yeah, put in the Google Translator, so you can, you can read what, they, what they're doing. This, this is going on now, you know. And they're using me, you know, to put more like uh, patriot acts and all this, you know, into the uh, into the system, you know, so they can harass people, and knock on your door in the middle of the night, you know. And uh, so they're using me and my, you know, enemy of the state number one, you know, to get new laws through, total control laws, you know, a witch hunt. So these schizophrenic police Nazis you know and they're so sweet at home you know and outside they put some guns in your head you know so these schizophrenic poli Swiss police Nazis they have all they will have all tools to come and terrorize you and they're already doing it you know especially if you're a foreigner so here in the true colors of the United Kingdom of the Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt of the Per Het and the Per Tasser of the, the White House and the Red House of uh, the two Egyptian kingdoms. The game of chess is typical Horus Matrix for the Sisters of Isis from the Alps to train their octagon executioners with a Freemason checkerboard configuration representing the United Kingdom of Pharaoh. But as Jesus said, the first will be the last. The predominance of the Sisters of Isis will create a setback, because due to that sickly dominant female component in society, more and more women get born, and not enough men for the Sisters because it's the mind and its predominant strength that sets the criteria for the gender of the future newborn. Like when fathers have their sons taken away, the male aspect gets eliminated through the mind's force, creating feminine and even queer offspring in search for daddy, a quest leading into the hairy ass of another male looking for his daddy. <laughs>